Hello again, it's Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Cyberlink Power Director Ultimate. And here we are in our project, and as you can see, we've got a lot of media files there in our media room. Before we actually add our media to our timeline, there are some very cool tools worth exploring. I'm going to take a, a longer video, and if I right click on it while it's still in the media room, you see I have a number of options here, including detect scenes, where if it's a longer video, the program will actually break the video into shorter videos based on changes in content. We can see that happening and see the process it uses to do that if we open it using the Content Aware Editing workspace. And here it is. In Content Aware Editing, the program actually examines the longer clip. It notices activity, for instance, zooms and pans. It knows if there are faces. And it notices if there are problems with shakiness or poor lighting. And in fact, it will automatically fix your shakiness if you ask it to. Pretty cool. But these little flags at the top of the timeline are sequences. So those represent changes in content. We've got the bicycles going by here. Once we get to that flag, it's a different video. It's a different video. And we can break the video into shorter segments based on those changes in contents, based on the report of content aware editing. But there's another tool. I'm gonna to drag this clip on down to the timeline. And it's essentially the same tool whether you use it while it's still in the media room or whether you use it on the timeline. It just acts a little bit differently and that is the pre-cut or trim tool. So if I right click on this tool while it's still in the media room, I can select pre-cut and it brings up a simplified workspace that's kind of similar to content aware. It doesn't have all the content aware information here, but it is a workspace here for trimming a longer clip into shorter clips. And in fact, you see it has made some automatic choices. But if I were to select the clip on the timeline here and then click on the little scissors icon at the top of the timeline, you see it opens up essentially the same workspace, except here it's called trim. So when it's on the timeline, it's called trim. When it's in the media room, it's called pre-cut. When you're done cutting it into smaller pieces in the media room, it will actually save those smaller pieces into a subfolder in your media room. When you cut up the pieces here on the timeline, the program is going to generate those individual pieces as short clips on your timeline. I'll show you how that works. Now this little blue thing that covers this light blue line here is just a zoom control. And if I move it back and forth, you can see I can see either a very much of a close up of a segment of my clip, or if I spread it out here, I can see the entire clip at once. So that's all that is, it's just a zoom control. And now I can create little sub clips from this longer clip just by manually choosing them. So if I wanna create a sub clip that begins here, I click on mark in, and then I move the playhead or I just play it through to the place I wanna break it, and I click mark out. And you see now that I've set an in and an out point, the program has generated a segment. This little segment here is this little area that I've defined by an in and out point. And I can move the playhead down the timeline and create any number of those. And so I'm actually trimming smaller clips out of the longer clip. And once I've done that with a number of segments, if I were to click OK, you notice what it's done is here on the timeline, instead of having that longer clip, what I have is just the selected segments I've chosen from that. So it's a really cool tool. A number of ways here to pre-treat a clip before you actually add it to the timeline. And even to pre-cut or pre-trim the clip while it's still in the media room. Now in our next tutorial, we're actually going to get to the work of actually creating a movie, actually creating media on the timeline and building out our movie and looking at the timeline. We'll do that in our next tutorial here, which is part four of our eight part basic training with CyberLink PowerDirector.